Hello everybody, this is Giuseppe Vetrano. Today I'll show you what Neptune Application Designer is. I will call it NAD for short. NAD is a tool developed by Neptune Software on the ABAP stack of NetWeaver. It allows to develop HTML5 applications with ABAP programming language with minimal knowledge of another programming language, namely JavaScript. I'll quickly do an overview of what uh, the main strengths uh, of this approach uh, are. And uh, first and uh, most important, maybe, is that uh, we leverage on our own ABAP skill. Uh, then again, uh, that uh, we can uh, reuse code in ABAP language, uh, mainly for the data provider implementation. A, viso, a visual editor is available, it's uh, very similar to the one for Adobe Forms or uh, the ABAP Web Impros, and uh, it, supports, uh, it supports many JavaScript libraries, SAP UI5, jQuery Mobile, and jQuery UI, we JMO with its uh, 40 widgets currently. I focus today to SAP UI5 mobile versions. Uh, it also supports the framework uh, Adobe PhoneGap to build hybrid applications. And uh, lastly, it, uh, it integrates well with the products uh, SAP Feria and SAP Mobile Platform. Uh, for example, for delivery your applications to the device or uh, remote locking or remote wiping uh, um, a hybrid application or managing security aspects uh, like uh, device configuration. Uh, this tool is available uh, by, uh, on the Neptune Software website, I'll show you, as a, a sub-certified sub add-on. You just download on the site and uh, deploy it on your server. I have already done it on one of our laboratory system, GAR, so the best way to show you how to use uh, the application is to, uh, the, to the framework is to build one application uh, myself. Also, also is uh, minimal. The transaction to launch is uh, I have to uh, open a new mode. Okay, a slash netum slash designer. Switching back. Here I am creating uh, the application. We are in the designer view. On the left, uh, you can see the available library controls. Uh, on uh, the center, you have uh, a representation of uh, your document object model. First thing, I go into uh, application settings. Uh, and uh, on the library subtab, I will select uh, those libraries I'm interested in uh, using. SAP UI5 mobile. I could also use uh, the libraries for the desktop, but uh, it's uh, not uh, useful to mix them. Or, of course, uh, one of the libraries I mentioned before. I am uh, um, selecting a team is mandatory, so I'll select one for the SAP UI5 version. I'll choose mobile blue crystal. It is the one uh, currently used by SAP Fiori. On uh, the settings uh, tab, I won't uh, do anything, but uh, I just show that uh, the application is uh, uh, type is a full application and not just uh, a snippet. And uh, the output type, uh, we want uh, HTML5. Uh, the application class is uh, also important, but I'll come back uh, to it later. On the designer view, now we have only uh, those li these libraries. I'll uh, build an app. Our app has uh, two pages. Sorry for the delays. This is our home page. I will put the title too. On the first page, I'll uh, put uh, an horizontal box. I'll name it my box. And in the box, two tiles. <clears throat> on 
On the first tile, I'll uh, um, uh, model sa some behavior by, it, uh, by uh, putting some code into the press event. Uh, when pressing the uh, button uh, on, the on the right, a wizard will, come, will uh, be shown, which uh, on the left has uh, some snippets in a JavaScript language. I just want to show a message on the screen, so I'll choose from the other UI5 folder the message toast simple. Uh, sample coding will be shown. I'll just replace the default message with uh, hello, package inside track 2013. On the other tile, I put some text. Then on the press, uh, this time uh, I put some navigation event, a very simple one, uh, a lot of code will be shown, but uh, you, ju uh, you just can comment what uh, you don't use, you, you don't want to use. I'll use uh, app to mind the capitals since JavaScript is case sensitive, detail page. On the detail page, I'll just put a button. And uh, on the tap event, I will tell him to go back. I could also use a transition, as you can see. Time to activate our uh, mini ball uh, application. Now I have to preview in a wrapper since I'm testing on my laptop uh, browser. And here we will see in moments the result of my coding. I, I can navigate back and forth, as you can see. Uh, with uh, more time, I could evolve this application into a full one. Uh, for now, I'll have to show just the finished work. I'll preview in uh, the wrapper uh, the classic S-Flight example. On the left, uh, you can see there are settings for uh, the wrapper. I could show uh, the phone-like screen arrangement or uh, tablet. I could also rotate or simulate or emulate other operating systems. Now we go on the booking page. This is a, a very uh, phone-like uh, um, screen, and it is optimized, of course, uh, to usual interactions with the users. Um, just to uh, show what uh, is under the hood, I'll uh, delve into the code. The, the page that we were uh, looking at is the, this one, page book one, that uh, it has this Ajax CD into the general tab, while the smoker uh, uh, input field uh, on the screen is bound to this value smoker. Now I can show you that in application we have uh, something into the application class input field. This is our data provider class. It is developed with the usual transaction SE24. So I'll just go to SE24. You just create the object and uh, implement this interface, slash tune slash uh, EF NED server. Uh, you will have to develop to implement the inherited uh, uh, methods in this one and on Ajax. I expect to find exactly the ID I was looking at on the uh, on the designer. Uh, what it does, uh, it uh, triggers initialization of uh, some uh, ad attributes. Uh, basically, here you have a block of code for every XGX call that uh, it, uh, is on. Back on the attributes tab, you can see that there are many 
uh, attributes uh, and uh, they are all uh, public uh, instance uh, attributes. The magic is uh, that uh, if we go back uh, to the designer of a Neptune application designer, any input field can be bound to what we find in the model class. So uh, you don't have to worry about data transfer uh, of uh, what uh, it is uh, formatted with. Internally it is with uh, JSON, but uh, you don't have to even know what JSON uh, is. I still have the time, I think, to show you uh, another app. This is just a toy application, so it is complete. On Neptune uh, website, they, uh, in the experience uh, link, they uh, de deliver some examples from real use cases. I'll show you the sales order one. Okay, this is, uh, I can filter the stores uh, I'm seeing in the list. Then I can click on one of them, create sales order. This integrates with the, the back end. I could uh, search and then select uh, maybe uh, search something else. I can just select the available uh, materials, then add them and uh, maybe change the quantity or delete the one I'm not interested. Back to the main page, I could also go to tracking and see uh, what uh, we have uh, from uh, delivered uh, orders and their delivery status. Uh, that's all. Thank you for uh, your attention.